Well, when WordPress first started, there was no grand purpose to it, right? It was just software for myself. And honestly, I didn't even really understand open source or the GPL that well then. Um, I just knew that there was this code available that I could improve and keep working on. Over the years, though, really after the first year or two, I started to really understand what open source meant and why it was important and why I even had the ability to take this code and improve on it. Um, because WordPress was actually built on an existing open source project called B2. And that's when I started to really care a lot more about open source. And since then, it's become a big part of my life where I consider open source the GPL, the Freedoms, GNU, all of that to be one of the more important movements I've experienced in my lifetime. Well, in the beginning, I used to try to do everything myself. And so I guess you could say what I learned was I shouldn't do everything myself. And um, it used to be less open project, if you will. Like it was really just me and then a few other people doing everything. And what I realized is that over time, it became more and more important to really incorporate the community feedback in everything we did. If for no other reason, then it was usually right. Like even times when I thought I was right, it turned out the community was really right. And it took a few times of going through that for me to learn that lesson. And now we're completely 100% community oriented. Um, people say that I lead WordPress. In reality, WordPress leads me. <laughs> I think there's probably a few things that made me more predisposed to be involved in open source. Um, as my parents always emphasize, sort of giving back. You know, if you benefit from something, you should give back in the same way. And from a young age, I did a lot of volunteering, um, a lot of work with older people, things like that. I've benefited so much from open source in my lifetime. Everything I've done has been built on Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, all of these things that everything I do would not be possible with. So it's only right that the fruit of my labors is also open source. So the next Matt Mullenweg, five years from now, can build something new and even better on top of sort of this foundation.